As a legendary New York sports reporter, Ed Lucas has covered many playoffs, World Series, All-Star Games, and other big events. In his 55-year career as a journalist and broadcaster, Ed has interviewed hundreds of athletes, celebrities, and politicians. Ed Lucas is also blind. On October 3, 1951, a 12-year-old Ed Lucas was watching the decisive playoff game for the National League pennant. I was excited, just the fact that the Giants won, the excitement. I wanted to go out there and play ball, and while playing ball, as a left-handed pitcher, a line drive came back and hit me between the eyes. And eventually I lost my sight completely. The image of a blind person to me was only one image. And that was someone standing on a corner with a cup and a cane. And I said, I do not want to do that. I want to be successful. I wanted to do something in baseball. Fortunately for Ed, he met Yankee shortstop Phil Rizzuto that winter. And the school that took an interest in me as a youngster, and he said, uh, you keep in touch with me, kid. He said, you come over to the game. With Ed's love of the game of baseball and his unwillingness to give up, he decided to become a sports journalist, an ambition that many thought would be impossible. But by listening to the radio broadcast and learning the sounds of the game, Ed was able to cover baseball from his own unique perspective. I would say my first interview was Scooter. And then I had Joe DiMaggio, uh, Mickey Mantle, Willie Mays, and then I, I recently interviewed Mayor Giuliani. There are so many different uh, stories and so many different people that have been wonderful to me uh, in this business. For him to be able to get here and cover the game and cover sports, uh, you know, it's kind of really amazing. Just a lot of admiration for, you know, him, you know, doing what he does. If you're going to have a dad to look up to, that's the greatest dad you could possibly have on so many levels. He's always been an inspiration and still to this day is an inspiration. But whenever I see him listening to a game or at a game or just involved or even in the offseason talking about baseball to anybody, he turns into that 12-year-old boy. Baseball's been his life and it's really an amazing story uh, of someone who could have thrown in the towel, so to speak, and just said, I'm going to realize my dream. And in spite of some you know, very difficult obstacles, he, he did just that. Recently, Ed reached another joyous milestone. He and his bride, Allison, were married at Yankee Stadium, the only couple ever to be given the honor of being married at home plate. When Ed attended St. Joseph's School for the Blind as a boy, a nun said of him, he's only blind, he's not handicapped. Ed inspires his audiences with his message of determination and optimism and demonstrates that there are no true handicaps in life.